read your bio- biography. You started in business. Your office was in the trunk of your car. Correct. Right? You've come a long way. You're not working out of the trunk of your car anymore. What would you say, if, if, you, were, um, if you were 25, 30 years old now, what career would you go into now, knowing what you know about where the world is going? What would be your choice of a career? It's, 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 I'm, I'm very, very, very flattered with this question because I would like to use this opportunity, opportunity to say that my mission in life now, you know, at various periods, I had to change mission. But my mission in this time now is to be able to, to lead the process of digital transformation in the world. I had my first computer course in 1965. I don't know if you were born then. I was born, but I wasn't <laughs> developing, I wasn't taking computer courses. I was, I took my first computer course at an IBM center in a, a city, a village called High Wycombe outside London. <laughs> And it was larger than, the computer was larger than this room, the computer. My brains told me that this is the beginning and not the end. So where are we going? And I think this is where the whole world is heading. I keep addressing and talking to students, to colleges, to media and everything, say, we have one of two choices in life now to become an innovator or to become distinct okay now that is why and to put my words in mm-hmm. action i started the first college university in of its kind in the world and I'm not at all modest uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> to say that, where students do not study material to remember and memorize and be examined for their ability to memorize, mm-hmm. which is our education right. system now. Right. And I said this at Harvard. I spoke at Harvard University. I said, give me one professor mm-hmm. who knows more information than his students because every information any professor knows is already on the internet now professors do not own the knowledge anymore it is students who own the knowledge so okay now since if we admit this it's really a waste of time to to see if the students Remember what you teach them and you examine them on their memory. Because they can find it. Because, sir, why should I remember what, uh, what is the longest river in the world? I can go to... Uh, so the important thing is to know where to get it and what to do with that exactly. information. So our college does not examine you to, to, to graduate. There is no examination. There is an invention. To graduate, you must invent something. I love the idea. It's, I love it. It's, it's and you know, some people said, but if he cannot invent, I said he cannot come to the school. This is school for for inventors, for innovators. I he love can it. go to do to, to do his own thing. What we need is inventions, innovators in this world. 